Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a, a very windy day actually, I wasn't expecting it. It's been a while since I've touched on, um, in, a, in a video specifically about, about mental health, because that's, that's where my channel came from really. I started it all from motorbiking and mental health and I, I thought I'd just give an update on my situation to continue to be transparent about mental health and mental health awareness. And yeah, tell you my sort of my plans, some of my coping like coping methods that, that I find are really helping at the moment and uh, some things that definitely are not helping. So yeah, if you want to hear potential things that could possibly help you with your mental health or and potential things that don't help you with your mental health, um, then yeah, hang about. We're just going to have a bit of a bit of a chat and a ride on the bike and just go over how things have been all in support of uh, mental health awareness so straight off the bat to start off with i um came off of an antidepressant it's called sertraline was it sertraline yeah it was i think it was about three four weeks ago now maybe three weeks and it was tough to start off with being honest everything sort of slightly bad things etc thoughts started to creep back in at the beginning but then it started to level off when I, I expected that it started to level off and get a bit better and then I think for some reason whether it's being a typical bloke thing man flu if that's even a real thing I don't know whether it was COVID I got something I anyway, I was feeling rough for a couple of weeks and that's really not helped out I think from coming off of the antidepressants as well on top of feeling like physically rough it really actually find that affects me quite a bit it, you struggle with your mood with that that's been quite hard actually the past three weeks i've plowed on and and still ridden ridden my bike don't get me wrong it's not been horrendous but it's it's not been as as good as it has been recently so i've got a few plans to help me help me cope and get through it i think i've come up with a few good uh they may seem a bit obvious to some of you but there's a difference between obvious and um actually doing the things so i shall reveal what my plans are to uh maintain good mental health and coping methods and the, the progression for the future so we're just coming through a stunning local town uh, just outside bath where I currently reside at the moment, uh, called Freshford. It's a very nice place to uh, come and ride, well, ride your motorbike or go for a walk or even drive your car if you like driving a car. Oh yes, look at that, it's stunning. Good planting, the Freshford Inn pub. That's a wicked pub. I think we'll pull over in the pub here and uh, actually mix it up a bit compared to my usual videos and just go for a walk because it's i know this area it's stunning river and yeah chat over sort of mental health plans etc Alrighty, so I've just walked down to basically across a field, down to a little river here. Nice little beautiful spot. Uh, but first things first, if I'm going to be doing more of these walking trips, I've got so much stuff to carry. Camera, helmet and the Speedmaster is just not the most ideal bike for lugging around a lot of things. Yeah one little weak point but i love her so much I, no way that's gonna make me get rid of her also i've not picked the best spot it's like muddy here so i can't really sit down either but it seems like a good spot to do the video yeah so mental health update um yeah coming off of the antidepressants all going going better it's not it's not too bad but i've got a few little things that i want to do and i thought it'd be a good video to basically do this and catch up on it number one is i'm going to stop drinking alcohol for one month and basically just see how that goes i've done it in the past before i've done three months before actually that was quite a long time but i'm going to do one month again now only because yeah I'm, I'm not an alcoholic thank god but yeah it just i can just tell it just doesn't help even just a few beers if you have one night is it is fine but it definitely brings the mood down the next day and makes you feel a little bit lower so I th and then it, if you have a big night um which i did the other night which is probably why i'm feeling pretty rough and feel like i need to sort of talk about it a bit it just knocks me off my feet for the next three four days <laughs> um, and really puts you on a 
on a downward spiral if you have a really big night on the booze, especially if you're feeling a little bit fragile up top. So yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna do one month of off the booze. I thought I'd just put that out there, let you know if anyone else wants to do it along with me. I'll, let's start it, I'll start it from now, and it's the 16th of September today, but the video will be out probably around the 20th, I guess, around then. So if we go from then, for one month that'll be cool if some of you want to do that along with me and we can sort of update and see how things are going and check in with each other so that is number one path for better mental health to start off with is i'm going to do one month alcohol free Number two plan of action. I'm gonna hurry up because my knees are starting to hurt from uh, squatting here for too long. <laughs> yeah, so along with the, the no alcohol, I'm gonna do, I've recently just actually read a book on Buddhism. I can't remember the name. God, I'll try and put it down in the description. It's a great book, highly recommend it. I'm not religious or that spiritual in any way, but I'm purely reading it for like the meditation side of Buddhism and it's a really interesting book actually to read. And I'm gonna try and practice much more mindfulness breathing basically to start off with like meditation you focus on your on your breathing really and just sit there and do that for sort of 10 20 minutes also amongst like just every day just being in everyday life just being as aware and as present as you possibly can especially when riding a motorbike i've done a video on that it's a fun one to make mindfulness and motorbike riding take a look at that if you want to see that but yeah i'm really going to do that along with the non-drinking for the next month every day even now just trying to be as as present as possible it's hard to explain but i i love the buddhism take on it really for being mindfulness and and in the moment and not getting wrapped up in your own brain if, if you struggle from mental health or have in the past or know someone that has once you get the hang of it, it is really hard i don't want to go too deep into it because everyone's very different but it is basically your own thoughts seems obvious but they can be very hard to get over anyway yeah, so that's number two, mindfulness, breathing, and sort of a bit uh, Buddhism, I suppose. Give that a go. Other than basically just being a monk for the next month <laughs> to try and help the mental health and uh, yeah, in increase the positive vibes, what else am I am I trying to do? Well. It's a pretty obvious one, but it's easily like, we all know it's good for you and good for our mental health, but I'm not sure what I don't do it enough anyway. Partly down because I get like dodgy hips and stuff from exercising, so I've got to try and sort that out. Go and see a physio or something. Yeah, just regular exercise, at least three times a week. I'm still a young man in my 30s, so I think we can still um, get some jogging in or something of that sort three times a week to keep the um, endorphins going and mental health going. So I think... That's the main three things. Keep it basic, it's important. Don't uh, overcomplicate it. And mainly really what's brought along this video is probably just over the past sort of two to three weeks, it's just been built up of me just being tired and you know, that, that you know, the mental health's not too good. I don't want to come across as if I'm sort of seeking attention or anything like that. I'm not at all. It's just, uh, I don't know, just telling you the truth and exactly what, what I'm going to do. And I think it could be useful to some people, hopefully. Uh, exercise, big time meditate like a monk and not drink alcohol for a month and let's see how it goes and i think in a month's time once we're done with all of that i'll do another update video let you all know how it's gone and, and see whether it's been good or bad or how i'm feeling what type of place i'm in so i think it'll be a good experiment and if some of you would like to extend an invite to you to uh, take the journey with me so start your month maybe alcohol free do some meditation read up about buddhism or mindfulness whatever you like and do some regular exercise and yeah see how your month goes as well i think that'll be a really cool thing to do spread positive vibes and in amongst all of that time what else am i going to be doing well i always love doing this i'm going to be riding and reviewing motorbikes i've got some good ones in the in scheduled on so yeah that's going to be really fun and that that's fantastic i just love doing that oh, one more thing i think possibly at the end of the month or before it gets too cold because we're getting into winter now this is such a steep hill up here so thin this this uh little stretch Thank you, sir. I want to do a, another little adventure. Another trip, me and Speedy trip somewhere on the motorbike. So yeah, I'll fit one of those in possibly Wales, Scotland, or it might be a bit nippy up in Scotland this time of year, but yeah, we'll see, something like that. Big shout out to Mental Health Awareness. I hope this video does something for you. 
Um, it has for me anyway. Cool, I'm certainly waking up the people living in these houses. Well, they should be awake already. Shout out to Mental Health Awareness. Stay happy, keep riding, and I shall see you in the next video. Till then, take care. All the best. Ciao, Bella.